Hey, what's up? This is Jack Bangett for Sports Post Podcast. It is May 3rd, 2021, and we are looking at a couple games in the NBA, a couple games in the NHL. Well, more than a couple, but the uh, most notable games for me would be the Flyers taking on the Penguins, the Battle of Pennsylvania. Um, Battle of the original six, two of the original six. You got Toronto taking on um, the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, this is pretty good for Toronto. They've won their fo- f- uh, five straight now, and they are the hottest team in the NHL. Other than Carolina Hurricanes, Carolina is still sitting at number one. However, Toronto Maple Leafs, like I said, lo- uh, won their last five. So, power rankings. Maple Leafs are slowly, slowly climbing and look for the Maple Leafs to um, beat the Montreal Canadiens tonight. Um, <clears throat> in the NBA, NBA we have uh, the Gri- uh, Grizzlies taking on the Ni- the New York Knicks. Um, a couple other games in the NBA, you have the Lakers taking on uh, Denver Nuggets. Now, Denver Nuggets clear MVP favorite it's either Joker or Embiid Joker pretty much annihilated the Clippers in the last game so you can pretty much guess what's going to happen tonight LeBron James out with a sore right ankle and Dennis Schroeder out for 10 to 14 days based on health and safety protocols Dennis Schroeder also said in today's news that basically him and LeBron James are the only ones off the Lakers squad that have not gotten their vaccine yet. So, you know, um, what can you say about the Lakers? Uh, Lakers, Lakers, Lakers. Now, they lost their last game. They lost their game before that. They lost their two games before that. LeBron James came back on Friday. They lost that game. LeBron James uh, left in the fourth quarter, I believe, last night. And they lost that game as well. So they lost to the Toronto Raptors. And my, my mailman this morning sent me... Well, I had a package coming from the Amazon. And quite frankly... I, I, I'm not going to show you the exact address, like, I'm going to cover that up for a second, but, uh, let me see, let me see if this shows it right there, so, it goes, the actual, um, the score, 112 to 114, and go Raptors, <laughs> so, I guess the trash talking started, um, the mailman Peter really got me this morning, so, because he knows I'm a Lakers fan, and I order nothing but Lakers stuff, and, um, you know, it's just, he knows it's Lakers stuff, so he takes his time with it, and he's kind of like a Newman in a way, he, uh, he, um, you know, claims, oh my god, it's lost in the mail, or something like that, but, no, he's a good guy, um, he's a Raptors fan, so he got the better of me, um, last night, and he he's uh, starting to trash talk now, so yeah, um, uh, I'll, I'll get I'll get I'll get Peter back sometime. I'll get Peter back definitely sometime. So, in terms of last night's loss, LeBron James and Anthony Davis and Kyle Kuzma stayed their frustrations, and quite frankly, if I am Frank Vogel, I need to change things up. And I need to start implementing Mark Gasol into the starting lineup because Andre Drummond, even though he gets his number, he he doesn't really have that much of an impact. Also, they drop down to sixth spot and they are tied with the Portland Trailblazers. So Lakers have the Nuggets tonight, Clippers the next game, so, a loss for the Lakers and a win for the Portland Trailblazers puts Lakers in seventh spot. Now, seventh to, I believe it is tenth spot, you're in the tournament now. 
now you have to play to get seventh and eighth spot which is does not does not vote uh, good for the Lakers because Lakers have two stars that are returning from injuries and quite frankly they have not gotten their legs underneath them they have not gelled together they're trying to play with Andre Drummond they're trying to get chemistry going again like they did before they got injured so it I think they got like nine games left and uh, this game and the next game or call a spade a spade um, they might lose so they might lose the next two games but we'll see what happens and quite frankly um, yeah this is the the luck of the Lakers is starting to diminish big time and I know what a lot of people say in the NBA that the Nets are pretty much guaranteed to win because they got Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving. So this could be the time that Kevin Durant captures his third title, James, Hart, ha, James Harden captures the first, and Kyrie Irving captures his second title. So anything can happen. Um, yeah, basically... Lakers time is running out. They have to figure it out. Uh, I think the pressure is on Frank Vogel. I think uh, Fa Frank Vogel, Vogel needs to change things up drastically and You know just give the reins to somebody else because Dennis Schroeder as much as he's good he Is out for the next two weeks, so you have to give the reins to either Alex Caruso or or um THT, Taylor and Horton Tucker. So you do that and hope for the best. You totally hope for the best. In the East, in the East, not much has changed. Last night's game between the Bucks taking on the Nets. Bucks beat the Nets by three points, but take a look at this. They had no James Harden. No James Harden. They tried their best and they could only beat the Nets by three points. So what does that tell you about the future? What does that tell you about the Eastern Conference and the Eastern Conference Finals? So it could be the Bucks versus the Nets in the Eastern Conference Finals. We don't know. If it is, and you have a healthy Net squad, I just don't see how you're going to get past that if you're the Nets. Or, sorry, if you're the Bucks. So if I am... If I'm the Bucks, I, I hope for the best. I try my, my butt off, but uh, Kevin Durant is the most efficient scorer of all time. Guaranteed. I think he had like 42 points, 10 rebounds, and I forget how many shots he took, but unbelievable. It's, this guy is just, as much as um, I criticized him in the past for, you know, uh, making super duper teams, his skill level is unreal and Kevin Durant um, could actually be the best in the world if he just you know stuck to being that guy who leads the team kind of thing I, I don't think he can lead the team he can lead the team in scoring but when you when you situate yourself with two other all-stars and no sorry uh yeah two other all-stars you're pretty much guaranteed to win but you're not a, you're not a leader and you're not the best in the world so best in the world titles were for michael jordan and the late great kobe bryant after that i don't see best in the world i just don't i'm old school so um tune in to tonight uh tonight's games in the nba and nhl and I'm sure something will happen. Julius Randle, hopefully he goes off on Memphis. Look for the Knicks to win against Memphis. Knicks, one of the best teams uh, in the N in the NBA East right now. And hopefully that they can continue that under Tom Thibodeau. And yeah, 
I am predicting a Knicks win tonight. This is Jag Mangit for the Sports Post podcast. It is April, or sorry, not April. <laughs> it is May 3rd, 2021.